with tea quilts and I'm here with my Tuesday morning haul I actually went to quite a few Tuesday mornings because I've realized that different Tuesday mornings have different things so I decided to go to different ones I was specifically looking for stupendous stamps I did not find any more stupendous stamps I actually found the cat one that I used to make my friend a card with and I did not find that particular brand but I found some other bargains that I will talk about so let me first show you my box here I actually bought this box at uh, Tuesday morning and I wanted to use it to uh, organize some of my paper crafting I am in the process of changing some things around and switching how I'm organizing things so that I can actually use them a little bit easier and I'm now working with my stamps and dies at this point so let me put this box down and we'll get started with bag number one so the first bag from Tuesday morning on this particular order I had a $10 off coupon if I spent $50 so I actually have two bags this is just one so the first thing here is a die and it's uh, an alteration Sizzix die which is a Tim Holtz die and it was nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents and so they have on the inside like the size of the largest flower so I thought that was a reasonable price for that and it needs a and I can actually run that through my studio die cutter with an adapter now I bought two pads of this spectrum nor basic cardstock and it doesn't have the weight on here it's eight and a half by eleven but I have used this paper before and when I flipped through here it actually is the paper and there was no damage to it I have purchased this before from them it's very white it's great for coloring with Copic markers and it was five dollars and ninety nine cents for each pad next thing I have is a, a background stamp it's a Chevron and it's three dollars and ninety nine cents it's the Heidi swap company and I didn't necessarily think that this was the best deal. I don't know what it would cost retail, but I need stuff for men cards, so I'm catering more to that right now. And then this border die is regularly $9.99, and that Tuesday morning they had 20% off of anything with the pink tag. So this was actually $8 and I thought the little circles were really nice. And I have some more of these in another bag. I have a Spellbinder set that has some stamps. And then it also has a little cutout for framing around the sentiments. Thought that was really pretty. And here is an example of what they did on the back. I know it's in the paper. But I will, I'm in the process, like I said, of organizing. So I feel like once I get organized, it'll be easier for me to find my things because I'm having difficulty pulling things out right away. So that's taking me a little time. But what I really had fun with was that I found some layer stamps and they were very reasonably priced by Rior Memory Keepers. And they were a dollar and ninety nine cents. And this one is called Banner Layered Stamp. And I'm thinking that you have to have like a Misty or the We Are Memory Keepers um, stamper. I forgot what they called it. I don't have that at the stamp guide. So I actually have the original Misty. So I'm hoping that I can use this with my original Misty. And then I also got the rose, and it was also $1.99. I have butterflies, 
also at $1.99. And then I also bought the photo camera. With all the people taking selfies and things like that, I thought I could use this in my scrapbooking as well as card making. So I've already opened one of my border dies. And it's probably a great idea for camera anyway. But this die here is the actual bow die. And you can make three different sizes of bows. And you don't have to run the entire thing through. You can just run through whatever size bow you're wanting to make. And again, this was on the clearance air section, $9.99 regular price. It was on sale for $8.00. have one more die in this set another one that was $9.99 again I can use this shape for men and I can do so many things with it I can even use it in my scrapbooking so I thought you know I could get a lot of use out of something that was more geometric again eight dollars on the in the clearance section I purchased this set of glue runners, it was $6.99, and I use these when I'm actually going to classes, and I like to just get something that I can just use and just toss, or because when I'm in classes, refills just don't seem like they want to cooperate at that point, so I like something like that. I have another Heidi Stamp set. It's a background, and it's called... It doesn't really say what it is, but it looks like it's wood grained. And this is how it would look when it is stamped out. That one, again, is $3.99. And I bought this stamp set. It was in the clearance for $4.99. And so it was 20% off of that. So it was $4. Bought this at... Um, I bought this because of the bingo. My mom and my aunt loves to play bingo. Some of my other family members like bingo as well. So I thought I could really get a lot of use out of the embossing folder. Here's a background stamp for birthdays. And it was $3.99. And you can't go wrong with a rubber stamp. Bought a few accessories. This was 99 cents for some glasses. I have a friend who daughter likes to wear funky glasses, and I thought this would make very nice birthday card for her. So, and then I got butterfly embellishments, and they were 99 cents as well. This one is 4.99. It was in the clearance section, and I've been told that you can find these Hampton Art stamp sets at the Dollar Tree, but they didn't have them in my area, so I went ahead and purchased them from Tuesday morning. With this orange t uh, sticker, they were 40% off of regular price, so I paid $3. And then I also bought this set at regular $4.99, orange ticket price, 40% off, and I can use my Copic coloring markers with these items. So I was still in the clearance section. This is another one that was 40% off. It was only 99 cents. So I only paid 60 cents for this is flowers. And then it has the little center hot fix crystals included. And I actually bought a Project Life book. And you can kind of see some of the shapes on top. It's $2.99. And I thought they were more neutrals. A lot of my coloring, I tend to go with hard colors. And then sometimes I don't have pastels to do that optional um, setting with. And I like that the back you can use because they're plain. But then you've got a very pastel print on top. I did find one fun stamp set by Stampendous. It was $4.49, and it's kind of background textures, mostly a lot of X's, but a lot of geometric shapes, and I thought that that would be fun to do with some collaging as well. I 
forgot I purchased this. This isn't necessarily a good buy in my opinion. It's $5.99 and it's great because I can use this to put stuff in but it's not showing. I could have also bought this at the dollar store but I like that it had a strap that it would hook onto my binders because it's sometimes when I take my binder places I can't find pens and so my pens fall out of the pocket. So I went ahead and bought this, but it has an inspirational quote on it, be happy. And then the last thing that I purchased from Tuesday morning is this Bliss die set. It's another Sizzix die. It was in the clearance section. And so it's, it's, it's actually very huge. And I like that I can like do a page header with this without doing any a whole lot of extra stuff and let's see what the price was I think it was eight dollars on sale because they're regularly $19.99 and this one was actually 60% off with the yellow sticker so I paid eight dollars for this one so that is my haul from Tuesday morning so I just saw another bag. I actually went to Hobby Lobby. I forgot about that. And I purchased a few items. I actually purchased this neutral print that I'm going to share with my scrap quilting club. It's going to be door prizes. It was in the clearance section. It was $3 a yard. I got what was left on the boat, which was one yard and 30 inches for $5.50. And then they had a few items that were 75% off. And I got this calendar maker here that has the grids for the month. And then you can fill in whatever month and year it is. I thought that was something that I could use. And I also purchased this stamp set. Has bravery live laugh love so it has inspirational things and it was only 75 cents i did find a stampendous stamp set has the bunnies for easter and i can use these like little faces to have them popping over something as well so i thought i could use that it was two dollars and fifty cents this is thanks darling you're amazing more inspirational sentiments two dollars and fifty cents this is by Sizzix and this one was a dollar fifty cents this one is sweet baby face beautiful adorable cute love so I can also use it for baby stuff has cute as a button and I have hello and it is a punch from EK Tools and it was four dollars and twenty five cents down from sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents so it all it has the word hello that punches out without me having to die cut so I thought I could use that as well and that is it for this haul let's see my container the price was under the bottom I think so let me find the price for my container at Tuesday morning it was $15 for the container. So, yeah. I enjoyed myself at Tuesday morning and at Hobby Lobby. So, that is it for this haul. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.